it's a lovely sequel more. from the story you explained about him huddling by the fire and telling yeah. you this is wonderful. It was you protecting him. You, exactly. Yeah. It was a beautiful all, thing. That was all I wanted to do. And just to know that John got, got the peace, you know, even though, you know, you know he, he, missed, he missed his... He was there for, for the days before. He missed his death by, by half an hour or something. Uh, my dad knew that John was there and John... And, th and when, I, when I got there and I heard this whole story about John looking after my dad, I just knew that at that point John would, John would get some peace, you know. Uh, Jimmy, you had your own intimations of mortality earlier this year, but bec yeah. because of a, the way you were born, yeah. you had to have open heart surgery, then you had to go back in again a couple of months later. Right. You were in hospital, the same hospital I think that Billy Thorpe was brought to. I was actually leaving the hospital that morning mm. And about five o'clock, I turned on the news, and uh, and they said that, um, that Billy Thorpe had uh, had a massive and you know, a heart attack and was brought into St Vincent's Hospital. I was trying to find out what was going on because I was in St Vincent's at the same time. And Billy was, I know, you know, I thought he was, I thought he was fighting fit, you know. And we'd do gigs together. Okay, we're going to do one of your songs, Jim, but we're doing it this way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, Bill, and no matter what you go, okay, Billy, you're the boss, you know. Yeah. And because he was the boss, and. Uh, so I thought Billy would be telling me what to do, and I'd be hanging out with him for another 20 years. So it was a real, it was a real, you know, a horrible, horrible shock. Can we see the chest? Can you show us your scars? It doesn't scar. wreck the microphone. It's a good scar. Because they did the whole uh, Jaws of Life cut you right open, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Ooh, that's good. And it's pretty, it's pretty neat up the top. Luxury. It's pretty neat up the top. <laughs> but down the bottom here, they had to open me up again because I caught this thing called Dresler syndrome. And so, um, you know, I. Uh, you know, otherwise I would have had a very neat scar. But now I can tell people it's a shark bite. You know, when you go to America, <laughs> oh yeah, I was swimming once, I was taken by a shark. Now you, you've <laughs> each, uh, you've just recorded albums. And mm -hmm. I, I wondered if we could finish, I'm just throwing this at you, finish the interview. Because music was such a big thing in your family, it's been mm -hmm. such a big thing in your lives. I'd like you to sing something from your childhood, from that home in Elizabeth, if you can. Crying oh. time. All right, yeah. What, what do you want to do? Crying time. Okay, you sing it and I'll follow you. Because I, I just do the harmonies, you see. You pick, <laughs> you pick a key. If you pick it too high, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> well, it's crying time again. You're going to leave me. I can see that far away look in your eyes. I can tell by the way. That it won't be long before it's crying time.